Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. Uh, before I continue Kazuha's quest, I wanted to point out that they did add a new timed event. Uh, 37 days, in fact, two new timed events. Um, one re is called Resonating Visions, the other is called Summertime Odyssey. The Summertime Odyssey one, I believe, is for the Golden Apple Archipelago. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna do this now and then worry about that later. Uh, okay, I just need to keep following it as it goes along. And I've, I still don't think that they did a good job with those boosters for the air. Hmm. He seems to have stayed here for a long time. <laughs> Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. <laughs> huh? Show yourself! It's no use hiding anymore. Hmm. Oh, is this that guy? I think it is. Haide Harakazua. Yep. It's you, at last. Aha! Uh -huh. So it is the same guy from before! What's your problem, huh? What could you possibly have against Kazua? Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it is Ameno Meyuya that stands before us. Oh? But what if instead of facing Ameno Meyuya, we are in fact facing the blade in his hand? Mm, the blade? Yeah, didn't I think that he was possessed or something? Now that you mention it, it is giving off a strange light. Whoa, whoa! Surely you don't mean... Are you serious? Tatarigami energy mm -hmm. often lodges itself within physical objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind, and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, as a means to occupy... Amenoma Yuya's body. Okay, enough talking. Let's take care of this. Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. Hmm. As a descendant of the Kaidehara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. I presume it has something to do with the ride in Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the ride in Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. <laughs> he not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. In her conceit, the Raiden Shogun lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but oh. also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So, swords can become conscience and control people? The people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one, but in all other respects, an ordinary weapon. But that gave me the opportunity to take action. Okay. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. I seek but one thing to face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power, the might of Isin art. Huh. Ah, so Amenoma Yuya was not your first victim. 
Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished using them? My hosts? Who cares what happens to them? They are but tools that serve my mission. When they got tired, or injured, or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're awful! <laughs> I agree, After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you. And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun! Do you really think Kaza has crazy enough to actually use you? After you just told him what you do? Kaede Harakazuha, you stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Now, give your body over to me! Uh, no thank you. I'm sure that's what he'll say. Oh, we gotta fight him. Okay. Uh, so first of all, let's do this. Followed by... Time for take -off. This. Maybe freeze them if possible? Yeah, it's definitely possible to freeze them. And then do that. Oh wow, he went down pretty fast. Do not stand in my way, or I will strike you down too. Your bluff's fooling no one. You've lost. Lost? I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit. Nothing more. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. Okay, then let's. Uh, why aren't they knocking it out of his hand? He is but a puppet that can be replaced. I can take a new vessel at will. Then we will smash you into pieces? The end result is the same! I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger! And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. By any means necessary, and any medium available, I shall return and fulfill my destiny! Your fighting style. It is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance, as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? Uh, huh. As I've mentioned what about his before, voice? The forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Hmm. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. Well, okay. <clears throat> After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Okay, then knock the sword out of his hand and be done with it. Oh, that's right. Paimon remembers now. Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. And what of it? Well, that brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. 
The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. Mm. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! Uh, yeah, he really is. Why are you letting him get so close? You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? You... Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Silence, you blabbering fool. I must achieve uh -huh. my goal. This was his life stream and the very purpose for which I was brought into being. I will concede I'm that you We're are still most talking. perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. Easy for you to say. Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. Uh... It is pointless to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet, and I will put your strength to the test. Huh. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands. Yeah, I kind of agree, Paimon. Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Although it'll all work out in the end anyways, but still. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Aminoma Yuya from your control. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuha! Uh, this is a risky strategy. You're dealing with a cursed blade that can possess people. This is the only way to save Aminoma Yuya. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the blade's puppet. And what if he doesn't honor the bet? The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Amino Meyuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. Uh oh Okay. But even so... Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. All right, fine. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn too. Now, take me in your hand. Oh, it can float, huh? And is he possessed? <sighs> Kazuha? I... I'm okay. I felt a little dizzy at first, but only for a moment. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. If something feels off, let me know immediately. I will. Thank you. Aether's assuming that he'll even be able to tell him once it gets to that point. What but... should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? We find some enemies. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. 
If a blade built for Ishin art cannot enter a state of harmony between blade and bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. He shouldn't last long in an intense combat situation. Okay. Wait a minute. Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. Since the Takasukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since. That should fit the bill. Ah, all right. Please lead the way. What about okay. Adamo Mayuya? What should we do with him? The blade says he'll let Aminoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. Are we sure this is a good idea? It's a pretty treacherous journey. Okay, fine. Just be careful. Okay, then. Off to that place, which is eh, fairly far away. Here we are. So it's a occupied hold, huh? Occupied hold. This was once a secret holding of the Takas uh, Takasukasa clan, which was taken over by Ronin being abandoned. If you should meet any resistance on the way in, well, you might as well check how much strength remains in this mystical sword. Okay. Let's go ahead and enter with my current party. And I'm assuming that Kazuha will be uh, my fifth party member. Although, based on their bet, isn't Kazaha supposed to lose? Hmm. Or, well, I mean, like, in other words, he's not supposed to be, be able to win in any of the fights that they have. Who knows? Oh, I'm... everything on this journey to me. Okay, so I can only play as him. And let's deal with these three. I don't know. I'd say they're doing plenty well right now. Whoa. And I don't think I'm going to lose. Although, it's probably going to happen in the story event anyways. Oh, look at this. The bird's Huh. Fun, fun. You gotta enjoy the fact that he lifts them all up like that when he uses his own um, skill. Oh, I thought he was uh, knocked out. Guess not. How are you feeling? You okay? I'm all right. The blade is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Though he's making every know. effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Uh, it felt pretty easy to me. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. Okay. Sure. Uh, so are there any hidden treasure chests in this place? Because you never know. Time to go. Hmm. Okay. I don't think there are. Oh. Well, this just proved me wrong. Maybe there are some hidden treasure chests in here, but I'm not gonna go back there. Uh. Let's continue on ahead to this room. And beat these guys I don't think my attacks are becoming stronger. So... Yeah, because I was thinking maybe it would become stronger as he and the blade are more in sync or something. I don't know. Just based off of what he said in that cutscene, it sounds like the blade is actually trying to do what he originally suggested. Set the blade too. Uh, let's wait till they gather up. Oh wait, I should do it over here. Adorn my knight. 
Well, this is working out really well. And that was pretty easy. Something's up with the blade. Uh, what's going on? It's grown dimmer. I can sense that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. But what would that do to Amanome Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. He's still trying to achieve his goal. All right. Uh, so where in this room? Time to go. Should I look for treasure? Time to go. Okay. Nothing in here. So now let's go over here. Is there anything hidden away in here? Nothing from what I can see so far. I doubt that you can jump down there. It just doesn't seem like you would be able to. And even if you could, I wouldn't know how to get back up. Yeah, I'm not gonna Time try to go. it. Huh? Oh. Not much of an ambush. No, thank you. Gotcha. I like the fact that I'm able to get the uh, squirrel reaction with the fire. Yeah. He jumped back at the wrong time. No, thank you. Die. Are you okay? It looks like you were really struggling the entire fight. Uh, what were you watching, Paimon? Yes. And it looks like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? What are you talking about? Uh, huh? What the? So the sword changed. Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk! The wear and tear is severe. It really looks like it's about to break. If you choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged. But the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. Will he listen to you? I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Here they are! Take them down! Oh boy. Uh, where do they keep coming from? You shouldn't fight with this blade anymore. Yup, yup! We can help this time! Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. It's just more of the same. Okay. And now... It's my lucky day! Oh, I'm still only able to use him. Not a big deal. I just need to get rid of these two very fast, and then I can focus on the big guy. Okay, thankfully that hit him. Oh boy. Took a little bit of damage that time because I was being careless. Gotcha. Easy. You fought way better with your own sword. You are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. 
No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too, you have failed. Indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor and without proper maintenance. I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps I shall never reach that level of glory. Uh -huh. Actually, this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels <laughs> in Liyue. What? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. Skill, blade, determination, and desire. All these must be aligned in the practice of Ishin art. <sighs> hmm. There is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. Yeah, that makes sense. I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. It is an integral part of my consciousness. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. The moment you embarked on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet, there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life, my form, my consciousness, and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, do not worry. From here on, I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? Aww. I believe our bet is now settled. Hmm. I have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? Uh, yeah, where is he? He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. He's still possessing that guy. But okay. Uh... Let's talk to him very fast. Uh-huh. Let's uh, explore this room as well, just in case. Never know, they could be sneaky and hiding stuff. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. Of course, I could have missed it. But yeah, I don't think that they've gotten anything hidden away in here. So let's uh, go out here. Checking around here. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. It was somewhere I've never been. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side listening attentively to his final words. Wow. That was the Blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. <laughs> While in exile in Snezhnaya, the Bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge. Not to vent his frustration and hatred, 
but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as Blade and Smith. That they were still worthy of being trusted. So that's the true story. Hmm. But after that, the blacksmith's intentions were worked by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed Blade of today. Makes sense to me. Right. I believe the bladesmith might never have known that the power he worked with was that of the Tatarigami. The hatred within that power is what sent the blade down its ill-fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. <sighs> Shame it's too late now. Kazaha might disagree. Yes. Oh. It is too late. Never mind. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. Okay. So, listen to what the Curse Blade has to say. When I look back at the past, I can remember the day of my fortune like it was just yesterday. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Ame no Mayuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. It is the entire purpose for my existence. So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? <laughs> it has to be done in this order. At least hear what I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Ame no Mayuya as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. Yeah. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Okay. Oh. And who would be the opponent? Aether? I will release Amenoma Yuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. Okay, never mind. You must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. Understood. Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. Aminama Yuya finally regains consciousness. The party explains the situation to him. He used my body to inflict harm on others. Wow, his voice is different. I utterly despise him and his actions. 
But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Terrio Commission. Thanks for your help. Mm -hmm. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony. Okay, where are we going? Let's uh, grab the precious treasure chest and get out of here. This reminds Paimon a bit of the Crux Clash. That was a much more relaxed occasion. Yep, we still can't let our guard down. Even now, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Blade hasn't told us everything. Oh? Still, even if he's way past the point of redemption, it's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. All right then. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art, Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. Okay. Let's fight. I'm assuming, yeah, I'll we'll be fighting. Let's step in the water. Get that. Anima. Element's going. Hmm. This fighting style reminds me of uh, a little bit of Ayaka's. You know, my enemy fighting style, that is. At least his charge attack did. One where he. I think he's about to do it. No, that's not it. We had another one where he actually did something that was very similar to Ayaka's charge attack. Not doing it now, though. I think I'm about to win. Yep. I win. Uh, there we go. Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken, in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness, nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions oh. as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. I beseech you. Please understand this. Yes. I too trust Mr. Kaedahara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma Art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. Okay, what do you sure. want to go there for? I am not sure, but I think that all this is about to come to an end. Okay, what happened to that one guy uh, that was trying to sell the blade to him? Uh, Nagato or whatever? I wonder if we'll find him. Oh, it's Yuya! You have returned! I am sorry to have troubled you. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. You tell Ame Nama Togo about the various things that A happened. A prized Ishin blade. Turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity, but I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Okay, good. Really? Is he okay? 
Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. And now that Yuya is back, it seems like the final ending to the story is a happy one after all. Uh, assuming Nagato believes uh, you guys, yeah. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuha? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its <laughs> lesson? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. I have decided to let him do it. Uh-huh. You... But... He... Oh, guess there's nothing we can say to change your mind, huh? The decision is yours. Thank you. I will explain my reasons later. Okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. Okay. Uh... I have a feeling... Well, I won't say yet. My power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought maybe he wanted to forge a new blade for himself, and it turns right. out that I was right. There's nothing that I can accomplish now, but there's still a chance for Ishin art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. Ishin lives on, and its finest hour is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final wish. Hmm. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I am ashamed to utter it. Yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishii. This name is now yours to keep. Hmm. Rest in peace. Okay. I wonder if we'll end up getting that sword eventually. After leaving the Amanoma Smithy, you learn of the blade so something. That's why he said it had to be done in that order. His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. Oh, so it disappeared. For some reason I thought it was transferring its consciousness into a new sword. Huh. It seems like deep down he disapproved of his own actions. And thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments, before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another. Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes, than see him punished for them. Uh, the remnants of the defeated gods are nothing to scoff at, or are too dangerous if you ask me. Too dangerous if I you understand. Ask me. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the vision hunt decree did. Your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. After everything I've seen, perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. Oh, Kazuha. I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. Uh, thank you. I'll hold you to your word. Wait! 
Shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Uh, probably. Oh, you're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. Ah, oh, you've returned. I hear that the issue has been resolved. Uh, though this was a treacherous investigation indeed, we're most fortunate that no lives were lost. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Wow, you sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube uh. Ishin. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara hmm. clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. That would not suit me. Ah, uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well, I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. Okay, good. However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Uh, probably, I don't know. Actually, I was going to say maybe Sumeru, but I think that that's on the other side of uh, Mondstadt. I think, anyways. Uh, so, oh, we did get that weapon. Can anybody equip that? Let me check very fast. Uh, I just need a sword user, so I could use her as an example. Where is it? Level 1. I think she can. Yeah, she can. Not that she needs it, but... It's funny, I have the Ame Noma Kageuchi, and now the Kago Surube Ishin. So, obviously, I should level this up. I wonder how you get the uh, refinement materials for that. Maybe you can make it at the uh, blacksmith now? Probably. So, uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to be stopping. Uh, thanks for watching. The next time I play, I'll be starting up the Summertime Odyssey. Uh, thing, and I just realized that Kazuha is on this banner here, so perhaps he'll be, uh, over there. Well, actually, he, he'll definitely be over there at the Golden Apple Arch Archipelago. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So that's what I intend to do the next time. I'm gonna be holding off on the, uh, Hangout event for Shikanoin Heizo for now. Uh, I'll wait till later on when either I don't really have as much to do and, you know, I can dedicate time to that or whatever. So, yeah. See you next time. Thanks again and bye.